Good morning, my darlings, for another season of the Sacred Roots podcast. I'm really excited to come back and I have several podcasts actually that I am going to record today because I'm feeling very inspired and there are many things that I want to share with you and teach with you and teach to you. Today, the topic of this podcast episode is all about surrendering. I actually already did two episodes on surrendering until now, and I've realized that you guys really liked those episodes. <laughs> One of them in particular, the step-to-step -step guide to surrender, is my most downloaded episode of my whole podcast. So that was very interesting to notice. I've also, of course, observed in many of my clients that it was really hard for them to surrender, that controlling, hustling, and powering through was more of the natural way of being. And of course, I've been on my own journey of healing the control freak that I am. You should have seen me 10 years ago. I was a real control freak when my parents divorced and I had bulimia, eating disorders, and then suddenly two houses my life felt completely chaotic. I was controlling everything. My calendar looked like, like the calendar of a minister, like every 30 minutes was planned. I was controlling what I was eating, counting my calories, forcing myself to exercise. I was very, very rigid. And it was all coming from a place of fear, from a place of lack, from a place of not loving myself, but not really knowing how to cope with all the chaos around me. And so that control gave me a sense of safety. Until it didn't anymore, until I realized I wasn't actually really doing myself a favor because when I had my spiritual awakening, I realized a few years later that if I wanted to go deeper on my spiritual path and start walking my unique path, I had to learn to let go of that control and I had to surrender. And so this is why I want to teach today about surrendering. And the next podcast episode are also going to be around that topic or connected to that topic. Because during my vast information detox at the end of 2022, Spirit really clearly told me that it was time for me to teach about surrender. I've been on a really deep two, three years initiation of what surrender really is. I now completely live in that way. It's really a new way of being. And it's time for me to teach it. So I'm really excited, actually, because I love this topic, because I don't see many people talking about it, because it's really important for obvious reasons that I'm going to be sharing and going more into details after. And I think it's a topic not many people talk about because it's a hard, it's a hard topic to master. And that's why so many of you love those two podcast episodes that I did around surrender. It's because you know you have to surrender, but you don't really know how. So these episodes are for you guys. And on top of those episodes, I am also going to be doing a free masterclass the 19th of January. So during this information detox that I did and when Spirit told me really clearly, it's time to teach about surrender, I then started creating a really deep dive course in surrendering. And it turned out to be a 16-week course. So it's a four-month journey, really deep into surrendering, healing the control wound with also breathwork practices to really help you cultivate the safety at a somatic level so that you can let go of the control and surrender more easily. And I was so excited when I was creating this course. Like I was just jumping on my bed and everything that was coming through was just like, wow, so good that I decided to actually teach you week one for free during that masterclass instead of just staying a masterclass where I, I tell you what you should be doing, but not how I'm actually teaching you week one of the surrender course, which is really laying the foundations on what surrender really is. So I'm really, really excited for this masterclass and this course, but um, you'll hear more about that or just check the links that are in the show notes of this episode. And now let's dive into what surrender really is. Because, I mean, we need to make sure that we're talking about the same things here. The problem with surrender and why some people struggle to surrender is that it's... Um, an energy, a way of being that is very often misunderstood. 
When we think about surrender, we think about the white flag, right? You're at war, you're fighting against your enemy, your enemy is stronger, you realize that your army is too small, you're not going to win the war. And so you surrender and you take the white flag out and you say, okay, finished, you won, I lose. <laughs> So you get the idea. Surrender comes with the idea of giving up, of losing, of being weak, of then being passive, of letting just life pass you by and maybe even settling down for less because you stop the fight. You think that you can't go further anymore. So you're settling down for less. That's the idea that we might have about surrender. Well, let me tell you this. Surrender is not that at all. Surrender is not giving up at all. I would say it's even playing with. It's not weakness. It's absolute strength. Because when you surrender, you actually allow the greater force of the universe to work through you. And there is no greater force than your chi, universal consciousness, energy, the divine, call it as you want. There's no greater force than that. Passive energy, surrender is not passive energy. It's a dance where you understand that if you keep doing, 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 you're getting in your own way. It's knowing when to take aligned action and when not. And honoring when your body needs rest. Honoring when your body is asking you to restore, to slow down. To go in your feminine energy. Because surrender is deeply a feminine energy. But it's not passive energy. It's very different. Surrender is not letting life pass you by. It's quite the opposite, actually. I would say it's taking... Not taking the reins of control of your life because you're letting go of control, but it's allowing the greater plan that is meant for you to unfold. So it's actually the best way to live your best life, to live your purpose, to live your dharma. So it's not letting life pass you by. It's calling in your best, most aligned, most fulfilling, most abundant life. And so, of course, it's definitely not settling down for less. You see how it's interesting that we have this first image of surrendering, which is really connected with like weakness, losing, passive energy. But once you start to understand what surrender really is, you see that it has nothing to do with that. So I've already explained a little bit what surrender really is, but I want to take you deeper into that. For me, surrendering is softening. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that my word for 2023 is soften. Because I've really realized, and it's been a long journey. It didn't, it didn't like I didn't wake up with that idea one day. It's, it's something that's been moving through me since June of last year, June, July of last year, where that word kept coming back to me. Because as feminine leaders and entrepreneurs and visionaries, we have this idea that we need to show up with power, with strength, with leadership. And we might have had at some point in our lives to be strong and powerful. The truth is that the more you step into a leadership role, the more you have to soften, not with others, but with yourself and in your leadership. Because when you soften, when you're deeply relaxed, when you surrender, again, you allow divine energy, divine consciousness, universal consciousness to work through you and for you. And it was really beautiful because we did an introduction to Tai Chi class with my husband here in Bali. And Going to that class really taught me, I mean, it really gave me a somatic experience that softness was actually much stronger than strength. Let me explain it to you. And then please, I would love for you to go to a Tai Chi class to have that same experience because I can explain it, but it's completely different when you have that somatic experience 
And then the understanding of this concept becomes a true knowing and embodiment. So what happened is that the teacher was asking us to uh, pull the person or push the person in front of us with our arms. So the person had two hands on our wrists. And with the two hands on our wrists, we had to push that person away with our forearms, with our body. And at first, we had to try with all our strength. And so I was doing it with my husband, which is taller, bigger, stronger than me, obviously. <laughs> and so I was pushing with my wrist and my arms and my shoulders and trying to push him away. And it wasn't working because with his two hands on my wrist, he was just pushing my hands and arms down. And I wasn't really getting anywhere. And the other people that were doing the exercise were also struggling. And then the teacher said, now, don't use any strength. Let your muscles loose. Soften. Relax deeply. Connect with the earth. And allow the energy of the earth to come up. And let that energy move your body, move your bones. Imagine you're moving your bones, but not your muscles. I was like, okay, interesting. I try a first time. It doesn't work. I try a second time. And that time, I pushed my husband completely over. He almost fell. I was like, wow, that was incredible because I didn't use any strength. I just connected with the earth. I just moved my bones very gently, very gracefully. But it was so strong that it unbalanced him and he almost fell over. So that experience really gave me this firsthand somatic experience and knowing that softness was much stronger because in softness you co-create. And that's exactly what happens when you surrender. You really allow the co-creation process to work at, it, at its best. So once you soften and you step into that co-creation process with the divine, you have to start trusting because you're going to be receiving messages, guidance. You're going to start feeling things in your body, want to take an action or not. And so surrendering is also trusting yourself and life. And then following the guidance that you receive. Surrendering is also letting go of what doesn't serve you. Knowing when to take that aligned action and not, like I already said. That one's really important. Surrendering is recognizing and moving in divine timing. You see how this whole concept of surrendering is very spiritual because it's really weaved in with the divine, with the magic of life, with the greater plan that is meant for you. It's a sacred dance. Surrendering is also very much letting go of the mind and creating from your soul. Because your mind is going to want you to control. It's going to keep you stuck in the illusion of control to keep you safe. But when you can move away from that and instead lead, decide, create from your soul, it's completely different. You're in a more surrendered, more peaceful, more magical, enchanted place. Of course, surrendering is co-creating. Co of course, surrendering is co-creating with the higher intelligence that's at play behind everything and allowing the greatness and abundance that is meant for you to come in your life. And once you start living like that, your life starts shifting and three amazing things happen. And these three things are usually things. <laughs> I don't like this word because it doesn't mean anything. But these three elements, energies, is something that many of you are craving. When you surrender, you start living in flow. Everything becomes easy. You are in Kriya, the effortless action. You're in flow. You feel like you're at the right place in the right moment. Doors are opening to you. You know exactly what to say to the right person. It's just flowy and magical the second thing is that when you start surrendering suddenly you start receiving 
everything that you desired, one after the other. Everything that you desired is just showing up. And suddenly you find yourself in that overflow of abundance. Abundance of love, abundance of health, abundance of time, abundance of clients, and of course, abundance of money. And then suddenly you start realizing that there are daily miracles happening to you, daily synchronicities. You feel very much supported by the divine, by the inspiration. And miracles, if we have to look at the definition of miracles, it's something that the mind cannot explain and that doesn't make sense. And that is really surprising. And that's because it's the art. It's the hand of the divine working for you and helping you. And the goddess, the universe can only work at that level when you surrender when you open yourself to receiving everything that wants to come to you, when you soften, when you let go of control, when you let go of pushing, when you let go of hustling. And it's hard because our society doesn't support that at all. Our society is telling us that surrendering is weak. But now you understand the pure strength and wisdom of surrender. And I want to finish this episode with sharing a few reasons why I truly believe that surrendering is key to be able to live a solid life, to live your purpose, live your dharma, and really allow your essence to shine through. And that reason is that your path is unique. Who you came here to be has never been before. You're absolutely unique. And so the path that you came here to walk has never been walked before. And the way it works is that when we make decisions and when we have to decide things, we are deciding with our rational mind quite often. I'm sure that if you're here listening to me, you're deciding with your heart and your intuition much more, which is great. I'm really excited for you. But it's important to go even further further on that journey of deciding with your intuition and your heart because your mind is only going to make you decide things based on your past experiences and what you have already seen but because your path is unique because you are a trailblazer in your unique field and maybe you're doing something that is already very popular but the way that you're doing it is very unique because of that uniqueness your mind cannot comprehend what the path is going to be. Your mind cannot even imagine what it's going to be. I never thought I was going to teach about surrender two years ago. Oh my God, no. I would never, I would never have thought that because I was on my own journey to surrender. And then because I'm a line three, five in human design, I need to teach what I've been through. And now that I've really deeply mastered it, I was so excited when I got the guidance to start teaching this to you. And I'm sure you can feel my passion in this episode because it's so important. It's so key to live your most fulfilling, aligned, abundant, soul-led life. Surrendering is so, so key for that because your soul has only the answers and your surrender, surrendered state allows the sacred and unique path to unfold. So if you want to dive more into that wisdom and really embody this new way of being, join us next Thursday, January 19, for the live masterclass. I'm so excited to teach it to you. I know you're going to be mind blown and you're going to learn so much from this masterclass. So join us live, ideally, if you can't, of course, there's going to be a replay. And if you know that this is for you and you want to go much deeper, there's also a wait list for the Surrender four months program, which I cannot wait to start teaching. So my darling, I'm going to finish this episode by thanking you so much for listening to me and inviting me in your private space for this first episode of this new season. 
And I want to ask you a final question that you can journey with and explore in the next days until next week's episode. Everything starts with awareness, right? So ask yourself the question right now, am I trying to control or am I surrendering? Start with just that question so that you can be aware if most of the time you're in a surrendered state, you're going with the flow, you're following your intuition, or you're controlling, you're hustling, you're doing something because you believe you should be doing it. Explore that. And of course, there's no judgment. There's no good or bad. There's just learning, noticing, becoming aware. And then further along the journey, it will be about choosing again. Thank you so much for listening to me. And I'll see you in next week's episode. Bye-bye.